How's it going everyone? Welcome to another demo for an upcoming FNAF fan game called Bugs Burgers and this one's by Swirly Head Nate and JC Penny the Third. Now I have been recommended to play this demo for some time now and I honestly have no idea what I'm about to get myself into as there's only going to be three nights for this demo and we're going to be playing as Daffy Duck himself struggling financially and working at a new restaurant with animatronic versions of the Looney Tunes. So I guess it's duck season this time around. Where's Elmer Fudd at? He should be right here standing with them. So without further ado, let's hop right into this three night demo then, shall we? And that's not a pun directly at you, Bugs Bunny. So please don't snap me up, man. Here we go. Oh, a game made by Swirly Head Mate. Developer intro segment right there. Hey! Let's see this dialogue here. Welcome to the Bugs Burgers demo. The dev has been hard at work, or so he claims, on this game. And this is what he has so far. I'm Swirlet, by the way. The dev told me to provide you with some warnings or whatever. This game is a fan game of Five Nights at Freddy's and includes characters owned by both Scott Coffin and Warner Bros. The dev does not and will not claim to own any character with exceptions to those he has made. That being said, the dev also will never sell anything related to Bugs Burgers or aim to make any money off of it. This game contains loud noises. Well, obviously, it's a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. What did you expect? Also, expect a lot of blood and other disturbing stuff. My favorite. Now, there might also be mentions and depictions of other disturbing things. If you're suffering with depression or other thoughts, know that the National Suicide Prevention Hotline is always available. Now, with all that being said, please enjoy the game. So if any of you are prone to that stuff, then be warned. Oh, this is a cool looking menu screen right here. No relation to Bob's Burgers. Bugs Burgers, and there's the hand twitching on the floor. And I can see Bugs spinning his head around on the reflection on the floor. We can press up on the D-pad for the credits created by Swirly Headmate. Swirls or Swirlet, Looney Tunes franchise owned by Warner Bros. And this is obviously a demo. And here are the rest of the credits programmed by JC Penny the Third, composed by Swirly Headmate, animatronic model by J Electronics. And there's no other options for me to select, so the only thing that I can do is get started with the madness here. Oh. So we're waking up in our own home this time. Well, I guess tonight's that night. My first night shift. Ugh. If I remember correctly. Which, to be fair, I rarely can nowadays. Uh, Pepe Le Pew told me uh, that shift starts at 12 a.m. If that's the case, I guess I'll leave at 11.30. Ugh. It's been harder and harder to get good sleep as of late. Sylvester agreed to stay over with me. Something bad happened with Porky. And nothing is more nerve-wracking than a pet that puts their behind right in your face while you sleep. Especially one with Sylvester's diet. It's never hit until now, but 
the idea of staying overnight in a closed pizzeria alone, except for those weird look-alike clones of my pals. It's nightmarish. Why Pepe and Bugs sunk money into those spawns of Satan is beyond me. I'm trying to fit into the character of Daffy here, so that I'm trying to read the dialogue as fluently as I can here. Oh well. I've learned not to question Bug's sanity anymore. It'll only make me more confused. Come on, Daff. It's only been a few hours past your usual bedtime. It ain't gonna kill you. Besides, when have things ever gone wrong for you? Sylvester, fun fact, Sylvester owns a plushy dog named Boofy. Is that in relation to Boofy's bunker? Oh! Bugs Burgers. Oh, oh, I'm excited here. Don't you look at me with those big white glowing eyes. Oh. March 9th, 1988. The first shift. Oh. Hello? You there, Daff? Hey, Foghorn. Mentally, no. Oh, 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 oh. Daffy boy, rough month already? Don't you worry. Pepe and Bugs really appreciate this. Oh, 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 oh. Plus, they'll pay a real well too. I say, real well. Oh, 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 oh. I say, all you need to do, boy, is work that night shift for five nights straight. Oh, 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 oh. Now I say, I take the job myself, but boy, that farm's been busier than ever. <laughs> so, what's with the animatronics? Oh, oh, oh. Honestly, boy, I don't got a clue. Oh, 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 for the kitties, oh, oh, oh. I guess. Though I don't know whose idea it was to put animatronics, specifically these ones, anywhere near kids. <laughs> Wait, why? As uncanny as they are, they ain't hurt no one. Oh, oh, oh. Let me tell you, boy, between you and me, oh, oh, oh. something ain't right about them. Oh, 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 Sometimes, oh, oh, boy, oh, oh. when I get near them, they give me these weird looks. Like, as if they were looking through me. <laughs> How can someone look through all of you? Oh, oh. Real funny, Dad. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, 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 oh. Did you see that boarded up door on the left? <laughs> huh. Must have missed it. Oh, oh, oh. Pretty suspicious, don't you think? What's up, Doc? And that Bugs Bunny plush looks really grubby. Oh, my. I pressed X and something happened. I'm hiding under my desk right now by pressing circle and Tweety Bird is trapped in that case. And pressing triangle accesses the cameras. So that's neat. So no one's moving right now. Hey, those arcade machines are going crazy. That's what I like to see. Another extra room right there. And there I am. That's cool. I can actually see myself in my own office. I like that. Uh oh. Where you at? Okay. Wiley is moving around. Okay. Tweety, nice juicy bird here. <laughs> so that's for Sylvester, I imagine. Uh oh. That's right outside my office. That's not good. No one else seems to be moving around either. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay. And you're back at the stage. Oh! I pressed down the D-pad, and then I boot that plushie. Yeah, dance more on the desk for me, buddy. Hey, dude. Go back to the stage for me. And there you go. It is now 6 a.m. Daffy can leave now.
Rest in peace to my boy. Marvin the Martian, fun fact. Marvin has a burning hatred for humans. I mean, he is called Marvin the Martian after all, right? And we can continue on to night two. Here we go. Let's see what's gonna happen now. Sylvester, fun fact. Sylvester was manifested at the same time that Sylvester was created in 1945. And here we are. March 10th, 1988. Back for more. And there's an eerie green light in the uh -oh. office now. Mon wonderful duck friend, bonjour. <laughs> Pepe, nice to hear your voice again. How's France treating you? Oh, 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 oh. oh, it is treating me wonderfully. I'm the talking of the town here. Can't imagine why. Not like you're a walking, talking skunk or anything. <laughs> so, what's this call for? Oh, 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 oh. I simply wanted to see how you were enjoying your new oh, job. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I truly appreciate how helpful you have been lately. Oh, 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 oh. That and there might have been a little uh, issue with the ventilation system in the building. <laughs> the vent? Ugh, what's up? I'm trying my best to voice these characters here, everyone, so give me a break oh, here. Oh, 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 oh. Am I pressure, sure, I suppose? I'm non-mechanic. It is not my job. It is yours. Oh, 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 oh. Blew one of the vent covers out near the stage. <laughs> also, I uh, don't know how to ask <laughs> this. Are the animatronics supposed to move? Oh, 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 oh. What? No. Not at night. Why do you ask? <laughs> it's nothing, actually. Oh, 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 oh. I might know what you are referring to. Oh, 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 the robots acting aggressive at night? We've had repairs on stuff like that before. Oh, 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 oh. I used to work there on the night shift before you. Saw some of the robots moving around too. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, one even tried to attack me. <laughs> I, I thought this was a safe job. You never mentioned the killer robots. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry for not informing you beforehand, Daffy. Oh, 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 oh. The reason I never told you was because I thought I'd summon fix the system. <laughs> I forgive oh, you. Oh, 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 by the way, if the putty tat tries to ask you for dinner, I got the Tweety animatronic working. Oh, 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 oh. Is behind you in the cage. It'll go off whenever Sylvester is close. <laughs> Great. Fighting an annoyance with an even bigger annoyance. Oh. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Now I must be going. I hope to see you in the morning. Ah. Night. Oh, here we go. Now I have to deal with Sylvester. Hey, you think this is only a game? I mean, it is a game. Is it? Oh, here we go. There is a whole different vibe here as the office light is much more greener. And Tweety is still in the cage. Alright. So no one's moving right now. And I do see the vent cover right over the stage. And, uh oh. Gotta take a look at my surroundings again. Uh, what? Sylvester goes in the frickin' vent? Oh. Hey, Bugs is playing on those arcade machines. That's amazing. All right, how about you stay over there and be mesmerized by those flashing lights? No? Okay, I'll take that as a no then. And you're holding a dynamite stick. Are you gonna throw that in the office and take me out with it? Oh, hey, Wiley. Go back. Hey, what's up, bug? <gasps> bug! Okay, pretend that you didn't see me. And that's how you deal with him. And Sylvester is back at the stage. Somehow, I dealt with him correctly too. Oh! So let me hide under the desk now. 
then I climb back out of here. There you go, Sylvester. And right above the entrance, that banner changed. Suffering, Sakotash. And there you go. It is now 6 a.m. Daffy can leave now. Night 2 has been taken down. And this is more distorted than last time. It's as if you expect things to get better. I don't think you're looking any better, Buffy. Alright, what's gonna happen this time? Tweety Bird! There's Sylvester right there. I love these little segments so much. Like they're actual Looney Tunes cartoons. Oh. Hey, little tat. You shouldn't be asleep. Oh, father. I think there's something in our basement. Oh, well. They can be snug and cozy down there. Because I'm not going. But... But father, they look evil. Uh, nope, not a, not listening. Uh, but Granny won't like intruders, will she? Uh, she can go do it herself. I ain't going. Uh, so much for father of the year. Uh, I guess I have to check it out myself. Do you really think that's a good idea? You wanna go down to that dark basement? Look at that, something staring right back at you from the darkness. Hello? So... Father said you could stay there. He's too scared of the dark. A real scaredy cat, huh? Hello? Hello, tiny cat. Didn't your dad tell you not to talk to strangers in basements? Or was he too focused on chasing birds to give you any attention? Uh -huh. Who? What are you? That isn't important right now. Names only hide who we truly are. You obviously don't know me, but I've known you and your cowardly father for decades. Uh -huh. I didn't ask for your wisdom, creep. I want to know what the heck you're doing in our house. Heck, how vulgar for a child. Not surprising, he isn't a very good father, is he? It's not his fault though, is it? He can barely take care of himself. Anyways, if you want me to leave, you'll need to give me something to drink. How does milk sound? 2% fat? Of course. Who'd want to drink fat-free milk? <laughs> oh my. Daffy Duck fun fact. Daffy Duck debuted in 1937. He was just as crazy back then as he is now. See, that's why you don't deny creepy beings in the basement of any sort of drink such as milk. He asked for milk, and you denied that to him, so of course that happened, and we can move on to night three. Here we go, on to night three. Oh, there's the board up door. March 11th, 1988. Losing hope. Hey, Marvin. Hello? Is, is anyone there? Marvin? You get reception on Mars? <laughs> Listen, I I know we aren't good friends, Earthling. <laughs> but I need to tell you, right now, you're the closest thing to it. It? <laughs> Great. I'm dealing with clowns now? <laughs> Daffy. <laughs> this isn't a joke. <laughs> right now... You're not even yards away from an entity that could destroy the entire world. 
What? Personally, I wouldn't mind that at all, but I know what it is truly now. It wouldn't stop there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a boarded up door there, right? Yes, near the stage. Daffy? Don't open that door. It's in there. Pepe tricked you. He knew your new job would get you killed. But we're friends. Why would he want me dead? When did I say he wanted you dead? Have you heard of, um, Sylvester? Nope. I think he's some sort of eldritch being, resembling your friend Sylvester in a much more murderous form. He has no limits. He'll devour anything and everything. It doesn't matter who. And it's in the building with you right now. Pepe doesn't want to kill you or anyone. He's trying to save you and the world from that thing. The only way to satiate and calm him is to feed him bodies, alive or dead. He doesn't care. And under no circumstances can you allow that door to open. If you do... No! Thank you so much for giving me that stare down, Elmer. You, fun fact, you don't think I'm real. Well, I'm playing a game, right? So I don't know if you're real, or maybe you are actually real. Okay, despicable. All right, so are things gonna change for tonight? There goes Sylvester climbing into the vent. On the camera. That is such a cool animation there. Oh! Who got me? Elmer Fudd, was that you? Uh, what's happening right now? Foghorn? What are you doing with that bat? That got me freaking good right there. All right, Sylvester. I'm glad you keep watching. Do you want a reward? After what happened there? Sure. Why not? Give me a reward. Kind of nefarious things are going behind that room there, huh? Oh! Please don't throw me in there. No! I don't want to be fed. I just want to work my regular night shift. Oh, hi, buddy. Hello, player. Oh, did I scare you? Sorry. Yes, I'm the demonic Sylvester that the little Martian referred to. And no, I don't have a lisp. You know, it's fake anyways. He can speak just fine. So can I. Oh, who am I? Please refer to me as Solvester. Chose the name myself, I'll have you know. Oh, Daffy? Don't worry about him. To be honest, dying is most likely the best thing that's happened to him after the last few days. And yes, he really is dead. Personally, good riddance. 
Another annoyance taken care of. Many more annoyances left, sadly. The backstabbing skunk, for example. I love to pluck the eyeballs from his skull sometimes. Yes, I am bloodthirsty, but personally, I couldn't care less what you think of me. You weren't treated like I was. You weren't backstabbed, tricked with false promises and I love you's. Much less twice. I trust nobody anymore. I can only trust in murder, in blood, flesh, brain matter. You don't know the full story, do you? That's why you think you I'm the bad guy here. You don't know me completely. You just think I kill simply because I enjoy it. You would be correct. The thrill of murder keeps me killing. However, that's not all. I've been betrayed attacked, brutalized, by everyone I've met. Bugs, Daffy, Wiley, Granny, Porky, every single one of them. And Tweety, that small little pest, the cause of all of my agony. I was beaten, broken, starved. And all you did was laugh. You pointed and laughed at me, all because I was depraved to be fed. To be fed anything. You seem to love violence, don't you? Do you enjoy hurting other people? When did I ask for your sympathy? All I want is for you to watch. Watch and learn. Learn what happened to me. Oh! Got some early footage of him chasing around Tweety Bird. Oh, and that's when he snapped, huh? down the stairs. And he's still alive. What are you going to do now? Climb back up those stairs and get your revenge? Some old school Just music playing. Are you gonna open up that door? Oh! All the Looney Tunes characters are popping up. Sylvester. I knew that familiar trope was coming there. Marvin the Martian fun fact. Marvin has a burning hatred for humans. I sure already do know that. Thank you for playing the demo and thank you for making this. This was freaking incredible. Bugs Burgers will soon get a full version including all six nights Two night guards, Daphne and Queen Karanhi, more tapes, and more plot. If you enjoyed this demo, please be patient and don't ask me to hurry up with the full game, please. Thank you. Love, Swirls, and Swirlet. Yep, this is fake. This is fake right here. Uh... <laughs> Turn your head upside down. <laughs>
gonna keep doing this between you and I for the rest of eternity. And what's up, Doc? And look at that, I got a star right on that menu here. And we can move on to the Vaporwave Night. I don't know what that's gonna have in store for me. Oh! Hey, got five. Every animatronic is looking different. Bugs, sweet blue shades on. And Sylvester is part of the space. <laughs> oh, come on. I was just looking at the rest of the map, dude. <laughs> Game over. Duck season? I knew that it was duck season all this time. Looney Tunes star found dead. In the early hours of yesterday, police were called to the recently opened Bugs Burgers run by Bugs Bunny and Pepe Le Pew. A police report issued to the public revealed that the corpse of a security guard was found in the main office. The victim's head had been cracked open, presumably by a blunt object like a mallet. A coroner report confirms that the body was Daffy Duck, the screwball duck of Looney Tunes fame. Why he decided to work there is currently unknown. So I'm back in the vaporwave night. You'll look at all the cameras. You are in the mint already. Oh, look at that. Tweety, cyborg bird here. You're already in the Oh, wait. Okay. That's whenever Sylvester's nearby. What? Can you go away? I'm just going to duck under here. Wait, who's that? What, you ate my Tweety Bird? Come on! Oh, hey there, Bugs. You are looking really dope now. Okay. Alright, I hear some noises. Has? Excuse me? What is happening right now? I love that so much, dude. Yeah, play me that melody right now. We're all having some good vibes here, right? Or you're just gonna jump scare me. I mean, I guess that's fine, right? if I press continue? Where's it going to take me out? Oh, hello, mysterious shadow person. Oh, I'm walking around now? And I'm trapped in this brick room with you? I have no idea who you are, but please let me out of this room. I don't want to be in this room with that lunatic. So that was pretty much all it for this three night demo of Bugs Burgers. I am so impressed by this game so far. The office mechanics felt so nice and simple as you only had to use two methods to keep the animatronics back, hiding under the desk, or just simply press a button to send them back to the stage. Sylvester's vent mechanic is my personal favorite since you can actually see him crawl into the vent and you only have to use Tweety to know if Sylvester is nearby. And I enjoyed those clean looking cutscenes as well that captured the authentic Looney Tunes style at first with all the goofy slapstick comedy that was going on at first, then slowly dove into the more sinister side as Sylvester started to pick off all of the tunes one by one just so that he'll get his revenge. <laughs> Plus it was really cool to see the interactions between Daffy, We the Player, and the other Looney Tunes characters during those night phone calls. Yeah, I'm going to keep my eye on this one for sure since this game shows off so much promise so far and I'm going to keep my eye on more of Sylvester's sinister antics whenever it comes to the full release. So if anyone has enjoyed this video then y'all know what to do since all of you are amazing. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already or else Sylvester is going to be under your bed tonight and hit that bell to be notified of all my future content and streams because I do sometimes stream on my channel. And that's about it, so I'll see you all in the next video or stream. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and yeah, see y'all.